The sun's powerful rays may be a welcome sight to some, but for others, it means time to seek refuge. However, one assistant professor says that because of the infrastructure on some of the buildings in the GTA, it might be harder to stay cool than you think. What is urban heat islands? So the urban heat island effect occurs because in urban regions we produce a lot of heat. So we have heat absorbing surfaces like pavements, sidewalks and things like that that absorb solar radiation and then re-radiate it. But we also have buildings and automobiles that are creating heat as well. So we typically see higher temperatures in the city core as opposed to more rural regions. It's challenging to stay cool. So some of our older buildings, the buildings that I study, um, post-war, really thermally massive buildings, they hold the heat. So they get really hot during the daytime. Windows don't open very much, so there's not a lot of opportunity to cool those buildings down overnight. Um, so in an extended heat event, like we sometimes see, probably this weekend, the temperature in those buildings tends to increase. Um, and then the glass condos, we've got buildings that are almost all glass, so they're kind of solar cookers. They let a lot of solar radiation in. Um, and again, it's challenging and very energy intensive to keep those buildings cool. During some of the extreme heat events we saw last summer, over 80% of the suites that we monitored had average temperatures of over 30 degrees Celsius. So the pretty warm <laughs> interior temperatures. If you think this is an issue in just the downtown core, think again. This is a problem in the Durham region as well, which is why officials are doing their best to come up with a plan to keep residents in the area cool. What we're trying to do is to both show people where they can go in a hot period like we're expecting this weekend to cooling centers, to pools, to parks, to areas where there's lots of vegetation which tends to make the, the local environment cooler. In the longer term what we're saying is we need to plan for this. We need to start changing the, sh the form of our urban development. Just things like the, the choice of shingles that you put on your roof. Why do we put black shingles on roofs when we know that that just makes them hotter and warms up the local environment. The region of Durham has more information on local climate adaption measures on its website. You can find a link to that by heading to citynews.ca slash extras. In Whitby, Brandon Rowe, City News.